Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about increasing decreasing question from June lunch time. So what the question says is we have given a sequence a1, a2 till an. Fine. Now we need to form a permutation of this sequence such that the permutation is first in, is increasing. Okay, the values are in increasing, and after a certain point, the values are strictly decreasing. So it should be strictly increasing. And then after a certain point, it should be strictly decreasing. Fine. So we can have strictly increasing and stop here, or we can have strictly decreasing from the beginning and stop here. This is also valid. And what we can do is we can have strictly increasing, and if we have a flat surface here, and then strictly decreasing, this is not valid. Okay. So we cannot have increasing and decreasing. It should be strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. Fine. Let me take some examples and explain you these. Uh, lines with the help of these examples, the sample test cases that they have provided. So the sample test cases are: we have one, three, two, four as a sequence. Now we need a permutation of this particular sequence such that the permutation is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. Okay, strictly increasing, strictly decreasing, or it should be strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. Fine, these three cases are valid. So what we can have here is we can have one, two, three, four. If we have one, two, three, four, so one, two. 3 and 4 so it is strictly increasing it is fine we can have 4 3 2 1 as it's one of the permutation so we can have 4 3 2 1 this is also is fine fine we can have 1 2 4 3 so 1 2 and 4 and after 4 we can we will have a decrease so it is 3 so this is also fine so a permutation exist that is following our question of increasing decreasing okay so therefore we need to print yes and any one of this permutation we can print uh, there it is not a restriction that this only this uh, only one permutation needs to be printed any one of the permutation can be printed after printing yes fine let's take more examples so let's take more examples so we have here 1 10 10 10 20 15 fine so if we just sort it it will come 1 10 10 10 15 20 and if you just draw it as a graph so 1 10 now it will be a flat surface for three times then it will be increasing for 15 and increasing for 20 so it is not strictly increasing it is increasing but it is not strictly increasing we have a flat surface okay so this this permutation does not work we can have 1 10 15 10 10 uh, uh, 1 10 15 20 10 10 okay so if we have this so it will be like this 1 10 15 20 10 till here it is fine but now we have a flat surface it is not strictly decreasing it was strictly increasing this permutation but it is not strictly decreasing fine therefore this permutation also is not valid similarly you can try any permutation for this particular scenario uh, it will have a flat surface at a point either it will be before we reach the peak or it will be after we reach after we start climbing down okay so it will be before we reach the peak or after we reach the peak there will be a flat surface definitely so therefore in this particular case we have to print directly no fine let's take more so we have 1 1 2 2 3 if we just draw it like this 1 so it will be 1 and a flat surface 1 so here we have a flat surface in the beginning only so this permutation definitely will not work 1 and 1 fine so let's take some other permutation so we can have 1 then increasing 2 then increasing 3 then decreasing 2 and decreasing 1 so yes this is valid 1 2 3 and then decreasing decreasing 2 and 1 so 1 2 3 2 1 increasing and decreasing so this is a valid permutation we need to print yes and we need to print this permutation okay any valid permutation for this particular question is valid so we can we can we have 1 2 2 3 1 2, can we have this just draw this type of graph and see can we have this so it will be 1 2 and a flat surface 2 and then 3 and 1 but before we reach the peak there was a flat surface so this permutation is not valid but we do have a permutation which is valid so we have to print yes and this permutation for this particular test case fine and lastly we have 1 2 1 2 3 3 so 1 2 3 3 will be 1 2 and then we have 3 and then we will have a flat surface so therefore it is not valid fine and you can have any other thing in here so we can have 1 3 3 2 so again it will be 1 3 and a flat surface 3 and then so we have a flat surface at the peak so therefore it is also not valid so we will simply print no there is no such permutation okay so now what we have seen is we have seen so many these examples the sample test cases that they have provided and for which using those graphs what is increasing and what is decreasing now using these cases only there are several observations that we need to make 
fine so whenever a question is given you can simply create the test cases how we can create the test cases is that see the question is not saying the array should be sorted unsorted it should have only unique elements or it should have only repeated elements so we can have many such combinations we can have the input array as sorted we can have the input array as unsorted fine now with this the array can have unique elements or the array can have repeated elements correct with this also you can add more the array can have even number of elements even number of elements or it can have odd number of elements fine now each and every combination is here is giving us a test case each and every combination of this is giving us a test case each and every combination okay so we can have so many different test cases just by writing these things that what are the different valid test uh, arrays we can have right so we can create these test cases and apply uh, the observations on them and get the answer fine so already some of these test cases are provided in the sample test cases only okay we have the test case for the unique unsorted elements we have the test case for the uh, unsorted uh, repeated elements we have the test case for the sorted repeated elements so we have very much many test cases in this particular sample test case only fine so the observation that we can make is see here if we have all elements as unique if we have all the elements as unique either we can sort it so we will have a increasing sequence or we can sort it in decreasing order so we can have a decreasing sequence okay and we can have also increasing decreasing sequence in this particular scenario when all the elements are unique so when all the elements are unique i think the answer is pretty direct we can we will just simply print yes either as increasing sequence or a decreasing sequence both are valid so for unique elements if we just create a map or a frequency array for this and check all the elements are unique we can directly print yes and the answer and the permutation any permutation so for the unique elements we are done now what about repeated elements now we have seen this if that if in this repeated elements were there and the answer was no in this the repeated elements were there but the answer is yes in this also there was repeated elements but uh, here also there was repeated elements but the answer was no correct uh, in the case of 1 1 2 3 3 in the case of 1 2 in the case of 1 2 3 3 okay in this one this case fine so what happens now how we differentiate between them that for the repeated element case we are getting no also and we are getting yes also but there is a difference between those repeated elements case so in this particular scenario when we draw this graph you can see that there were repeated elements okay 1 2 3 2 1 but the repeated elements were such that the repetition of the elements were divided using this peak that the elements on the right hand side and the elements on the right hand left hand side are same and the peak is unique since the peak was unique and the so the all the elements on the left hand side was differentiated from the elements on the right hand side but if we see this that is 1 or this one 1 2 3 3 1 2 3 3 no matter what we do no matter how we do it okay 1 2 3 there will be a peak there will be a flex surface no matter how we do it 1 3 3 and then we will have to we will definitely have a what do you say a flat surface at the peak fine there is not that the flat surface will be only at the peak for example in this particular scenario there we cannot have a peak okay and differentiate the elements like this in this scenario because the the 10 is repeating not two times but actually three times we can only differentiate using the peak the elements on the left hand side on the right hand side if there is just one frequency of the element is 2 that means the element is present here one time and the element is present here one time but if the same element is present more than two times so either there will be a peak here or there there will be a flat surface here or there will be a flat surface here no matter what we do okay if we keep the maximum element as a peak and then the smaller elements on the left hand side and the smaller elements on the right hand side if the elements are repeated more than two times more than two times there will definitely be a flat surface either on the left hand side or there will be a flat surface either on the right hand side we cannot do anything about it fine so here the elements one is repeating two times two is also repeating two times and three was just repeating once so in this particular scenario three became the peak element and one one frequencies of these elements were here one was here two was here two was here and one was here fine but if we increase the number of twos to three now just see no matter what we do there will be a flat surface either here or there will be a flat surface either here no matter what we do because we have to insert this two somewhere we cannot insert it at the peak 
because 3 is greater than 2. So we have to insert it either on the left hand side or on the right hand side. And where, wherever we insert it, there will be a flat surface. So what we have just seen is the frequency of the elements, if it is unique, then we got the answer. If any element is has the frequency of greater than 2, any element has a frequency of greater than 2, then in that particular case, the answer is directly no. So for the direct yes and for the direct no, we got the case. Fine. Now, if the elements, what if the elements all have equal to 2 frequency? Fine. If it is equal to 2, for example, it 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So in this case also, there is no way that we cannot avoid a peak. Uh, we cannot avoid a flat surface. The reason being, we can have 1, 2. At the peak, there will definitely be a flat surface. Now, at the peak, there will be a flat surface. Okay. Peak element should be a unique element. Peak element should not have, what you say, 2 uh, frequency. Fine. It should be a unique element. Okay. So for unique frequency, we directly print yes, sort the array in increasing, decreasing order, and we got the answer. If the frequency of any element is greater than 2, we directly print no. Okay. If the frequency of all the elements is equal to equal to 2, we can directly print no. In other cases, we can form a permutation and print yes. Fine. In all other cases, we can form a permutation and print yes. Now, how we can form a permutation that this just need to be thought out. Fine. After these cases, now we know, for example, the case is this 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. How we can just form that 3, the unique element 3 will be a peak. And from the left hand side, we have this and the right hand side, we have this. So what we can do is we can create two arrays for, let's say, a left array. Let's name it a left array and a right array. Fine. So what we'll be doing is if the element is occurring for the first time, we will include it in the left array. If the element is occurring for the first time we can simply include it in the left array fine one was agreeing for the first time include in the left array one one is agreeing for the second time include in the right array so if one one is here one one is here like this now two is agreeing for the first time include in the left array and two is agreeing for the second time include in the right array fine so we'll have one one then we'll have a two here or two here like this fine and then a three three is agreeing for the first time so include in the left array now sort the left array we have one two three and sort the right array in the decreasing order we have two one so uh, when we print, we first we print the sorted left array and the reverse sorted right array like this 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 and we print yes as the answer. Fine. Because we just needed to divide it, divide the frequent elements into two parts. So I just choose the left array and the right array. Fine. We can do this for all the cases. And uh, this also while implementing these three cases can be handled. Uh, so what we can do is for the greater than two case, we can handle it directly for the frequency of unique element case. Also, we can handle it directly. Okay. Or for the frequency of unique element case, uh, instead of handling it separately, we can handle this using this only the left and, and the right array. So all the elements will be just included in the left array. It will be sorted or, and it will be printed. Or you can do is all the elements will be in the right array, sorted and printed. Fine. The frequency unique element can be done using the same approach. For the greater than two, what we can do is if the element is already present in the left array and the element is already present in the right array and if after the element is here and here and the frequency is not equal to zero, that element has again came. So we can make some flag value equals to one and we can break the loop and print no as the answer. If it is already in the left array, already in the right array. What about the equal to equal to two case? So in this particular scenario, what we can do is if it is equal to equal to two, so one, two, three and one, two, three, something like this will happen. So if we sort it, so it will be one, two, three and three, two, one, because the second array should be sorted in reverse manner. So the last element of the first array and the first element of the second array will be same. So if these two elements are same, then also we can print no. Fine. So though all these three cases can be handled using this particular approach. That is nothing but we have creating a left array and we are creating a right array. Fine. So now we will see the code for this. Uh, I think uh, all the cases are handled. Just remember this that uh, using such when you write these things, you can create many test cases on your own and observe those test cases to get the answer. Fine. So we have made three to four observations and using that we are just uh, implementing our code. Fine. So let's see the implementation. So let's see the implementation. We are taking T as the input, running a test case loop. Then we are taking N as the input, declaring our array of size N, declaring a frequency of size 2 into 10 to the power of 5 as per the constraint. Uh, flag value equals to 0 initially. This can be Boolean as well. Now we are taking our array elements as the input and we are creating the frequency array. Now here 
we have directly handling if the frequency of array is greater than two or not if it is greater than two we are printing no now we can do this step in while we are doing we are creating our two arrays as well at that time also this can be done or here it can be done directly here now the flag is not equal to one frequency array is created our array is taken as the input so we have created two arrays a array and a b array and the index is for those two arrays j and k fine now if the element frequency is equal to equal to two it will go into the a array or you can say in the left array fine and the frequency of the element is decreased by one if the frequency is equal to equal to one that means it has already occurred once so we we included it in the left array now it is occurring two twice second time so we have just including it in the right array that is b array and the frequency is again decreased now here also you can handle this particular scenario okay now if the frequency if you decrease the frequency and now even if it is not equal to zero now here you can make flag equals to one fine it has to occur just two times not more than two times now after that we are sorting the a array and we are sorting the b array in a reverse manner fine now if the last element of the a array is equal to the first element of the b array that means all the elements actually came two times so we have a flat surface at the peak so therefore we are printing no if this is not the case then we are simply printing our a array and then we are printing our b array and we are done after printing yes okay so this was the implementation for the particular question thank you